clown. Welcome to the podcast. Dark Wave is a jackass. Go! <laughs> that rhymes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I believe E4 had a topic she wanted to discuss about. Nobody, nobody. Um, yeah, I recently saw this morning that uh, Goldberg was the first inductee of the, two, the class of 2018 for the Hall of Fame. What? How do you guys feel about that? I mean, I'm going to tell you who, obviously, I want to be inducted into the Hall of Fame this year. And want? it's quite obvious. Oh, it's Undertaker. That that's quite obvious. Um, who do you guys think should be inducted? Uh, China. I I've made this argument several times before, and Wang Fang has a different opinion about that about China. I believe I, I agree with Triple H what he said. What did he say? Pretty much that she he would he pretty much he doesn't want the kids to like look her up and see it straight porn. I mean, Sonny's in the Hall of Fame. And several, she did. I was gonna say there's also been several women that has known that has also done porn. Yeah. Well, but at the same time, yeah, you're right. I, was like, yeah. I mean, you can't take away what she did in the ring, honestly, in my opinion. And what she did for the and she was a you know a big factor with the women. So and since WWE is doing this whole political garbage with the women, you know, so they might as well throw her in there. You know, they're not letting everything just get over naturally. They're doing it for political reasons, so they might as well throw China in there because she was a pioneer, regardless of what people may think or what you know how they feel about her. So yeah. Mm-hmm. As far as Undertaker, I mean, we might get him, but I mean, he might wrestle again this year. Which, oh boy! Oh God! Oh, oh no! Lord. Hey man, Lord. that's the been Lord. that's been the rumor. John Cena, Undertaker. So I mean, four years too late, but it happened. It might be happening. He's at Raw twenty five. Now will Everybody he be Undertaker? Will he be Mac Mark? Will he be Undertaker? Or will he be Mac Mark Calloway? That that's the question we need to see. Uh. Nobody would. I, I don't think he should be wrestling anymore. In fact, I still think the person that should have retired him probably should have been Kane. You said Kane? Yeah. Yeah. It would have made more sense that way. I mean, I don't think he should have lost his streak. But we're getting off topic. Yeah. 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 I can definitely see China... And uh, I'm just hoping that that Undertaker, John Cena, rumor, BS. Yeah, I don't want to oh, see Oh, God, that would be awful. I, just I don't, don't want to see, see that. that. I don't want to see John Cena, period. I don't want to see Undertaker in that ring. I thought I saw a Roman ring. <laughs> <laughs> you mean that horrible piece of garbage of a match? Gave it to mm-hmm. Roman goddamn ring. Why would you give it to Roman I mean, come on. He's the big dog because he's Roman Reigns. Superman punching his way to fame. Roman Reigns. I've never seen him do He has his own theme song. Yes. He also has his own phrase. (laughs) Guess what the phrase is? Raw stands for Roman always wins. Because he's not. It doesn't make any sense. Like, come on, son. But WWE stands for Walk with Elias. Hmm. That'd be good. <laughs> if only they treated him better. So, back on topic. <laughs> Can we jump to Undertaker quite a bit? Unless yeah. I just want to talk about the Undertaker possibly wrestling Cena. I mean, that is possibly a thing. That would be so nasty. I don't want to see that. I don't think anybody wants to see that. Well, you got the casual fans that want to see it. The dumbasses. Yeah. 
All right. Yeah, if I got a casual fans speaking to the next topic that we're probably going to talk about. The casual fans think Paige, uh, uh, Sasha Banks injured Paige. They forgot that's the nature of the business. They forgot that Paige, well, that, yes, they did because it is the nature of the business and these casual jackasses need to understand that. Like, injuries happen. Paige was on borrowed time anyway. She was told she pro- she shouldn't even be wrestling, apparently. Well, I've yeah. been hearing that legit doctors told her don't wrestle, but she did anyway. Uh, you know, so it was pretty much a matter of, of not if, but when. And she, I mean, it just so happens that it was Sasha. It could have been anyone that, you know, she did the move to. So yeah. I think people yeah. were saying Sasha or pretty much putting a little bit more blame on Sasha because a lot of people don't like Sasha Banks. Well, yeah. I mean, people will say the same thing about Rollins when he fought Sting. When Sting clearly came out and clearly said that, it, you know, it technically was actually Sting's fault. He didn't tuck his uh, chin. Same thing with Finn Balor. Finn, if you watch what happened with Finn in his match with Rollins, he had his shoulder clearly stretched out way too far for that buckle bomb. People give Rollins shit sometimes. Uh, yeah, Brett the Hunter like, gave like, Rollins that shit shit. Like like Wild Fang said, it's the nature of the business. You know, Paige was, you know, WB cleared Paige. That means she was cleared to take bumps. She was cleared to, you know, do whatever. Yeah. Even, you know, regardless of how you may feel or, you know, but it is part of the job. It's part of the business. And that can happen to anybody at any given point in time. The fact that you were saying fire Sasha Banks, you know, when in reality she's probably – Minus, you know, Oscar, probably the best perform, best worker since Mania. I mean, no, you don't f- fire Sasha over an injury. Because at that point, like Sasha did Seth, this. Seth would be gone. Oh yeah, Seth would be gone. There would be like there would be a lot of people that would be gone if you're going to be fired over an injury. It's yeah, that that's stupid. You know, but I mean. But, but you know, these are the these are the same casual fans that bashed Paige for two years for being gone. The same fans that said, "Oh, now she does um explicit videos for free." It, you know th- that oh, nonsense. Yeah, yeah, Where were y'all people. two years ago when she was gone? Yeah, and then now she has to retire. People are like, "Oh man, fire Sasha Banks!" But like, I'm one of the people that's like this. She didn't do anything, or she wasn't doing anything. Even if she's gone or she has to leave, no one's going to miss her for real. Like, for real. Who's honestly going to miss Paige? And she's not leaving WWE. She's going to be wrestling. Now, don't get me wrong. I like Paige. I, I I love me some Paige. I thought she was a great talent, and I will always, you know, you know, like her as a talent. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. She got hurt. Yeah. Career's over. And now she can transition somewhere where she won't end up, you know, killing herself. Yeah, 